Well, I just wanted to capture this. Uh, this is the conjunction of uh, it's Venus and Jupiter. Actually, they drifted apart several days ago. Uh, they were closer. It's March 17th. The brighter uh, the object is Venus, is closest to us, uh, Jupiter. Uh, Venus of great interest uh, to all ancient cu uh, cultures. It's 19 year cycle. Sometimes it's the morning star, sometimes it's the uh, western star, the evening star. It's just uh, brings to mind what the Egyptians, the Egyptians call their gods. Uh, and that's a Greek word, God. They didn't uh, fool around with abstractions like that. They call these uh, star people, as I like to call them, uh, Netter, the watchers. And they watched the sky. They did a lot of sky watching. Maybe to figure out what time it was on their planet. Seems like a good theory. Uh, this happens every 13 years, so it's not so extraordinary. It just happens to fall in 2012 this year. We're in the last Baktun, the last age, according to the uh, Mayas, of a grand cycle. Uh, for instance, the uh, Hindus, and they get their uh, super civilization from the Indus River Valley, call this the Iron Age, the Kali Yuga. It's like a great big circle, and it starts with the Golden Age, then the Silver Age, and so forth, down we're at the end. We're in the end times. Uh, that's why I keep saying this age of Aquarius, so this new age we're going, bringing us lots of water, cleansing water. But it's going to force change and it's going to hurt. There's going to be, you know, cleansing of any kind. First, you got to get rid of the bad before the good comes in. It's nice to contemplate everything, the stars, and the, oh, these are planets, but the... The Mayans, uh, today, they see this as uh, the culmination of uh, things that are bound to happen. Mother Earth, they say, and Father Son, that's how they refer to it. And Mother Hurt, uh, Earth is being hurt is being injured by governments and by corporations. You, you know, go out there and genetically modify all the plants of the, of the forest and the, and the mountains there, and, and they drive the people off the land. And these are the Mayas, who are also in Guatemala and Belize, and other peoples around the world. And uh, they expect these uh, end of days to bring big changes because they can't go on well it's fading in and out that's my hands shaking and the changes uh, you know you figure well you can blame the government you can blame the corporations but who's behind it all who demands these products that corporations uh, uh, put out? You know, the, the, the minerals and the, the plants and uh, so forth. Well, it's us. We are the culprits. We the consumers. We want all our goodies. Yeah, heaven forbid we should be self-sufficient. So look at, look at yourself, you know, when you look at the stars. And who is really causing these climactic changes on Earth? It's us because we want our goodies. Well, Father Son and Mother Earth uh, are going to change things around. It's inevitable. All the megacultures, the Egyptians, the uh, Sumerians, the Indus River, the, the Mexican, the old Mexican culture, uh, they see cycles. And uh, we're at the end of one cycle, about to begin a new one. 
As I say, it's going to be a beautiful age, but before it turns beautiful, the cleansing waters will make changes, and it's going to hurt. Let's go back to the old ways, huh? Let's respect Mother Earth. And we're all in this together. So that's my sermon for today as we behold uh, Venus and Jupiter coming close together. And now they're drifting apart. Now later this year, by the way, in June, Venus is going to transit the sun. It's going to go right across the face of the sun. It's going to look like a little black ball. Once again in 2012. A lot of solar uh, activities is expected this year. Uh, solar storms. Uh, we had one earlier this year, the, quite a show, the Aurora Borealis. And uh, as you may know, this year, 2012, we come um, on the ecliptic. That's like a straight line to the black hole in the middle of the Milky Way. It's the shortest distance. And uh, I don't know what that means, really. I mean, it's happened before and a long time ago. There's a grand procession. It takes 20, about 26,000 years for all the zodiac signs to get back to the, the original position. That is to say, uh, the, the age of Aquarius now, another 26,000 years it will come back. And uh, somebody figured that out. Who would want to keep such long uh, accounts? Uh, well, star people. Yep, Egyptians call their gods Neter, the Watchers.